So for today, we're going to be looking at the parade set for all the classes. I finally got the last pieces that I needed from the Warlock. And before we get started, I would like to set a few things uh, first because there are new things in this video that you guys haven't seen from previous review videos. So first and foremost, um, we can have we can finally change the gender of our guardians, which means that I'm going to be reviewing the armors individually instead of all together. And that pretty much just means that I have one screen dedicated to just one class and that's how we're going to go about it. So if you want to go to the Hunter one specifically, I will have a timestamp for that and vice versa for the Titans and Warlocks as well. So if you guys just want to see that class, I'll have the timestamps below, but I'm going to be showcasing the male and the female version. So that way you guys can just be just be aware of how they both look, because I know people are going to ask me about showcasing both of them. And I just wanted to get ahead of the curve on that because I knew people were just going to be like, can you show the male or the female of this class? So that way I can see how they both look. And that's a very valid point because they both really do look different. So. That is the first thing. The second thing is, um, uh, I don't know how we're going to be able to get this armor after this, uh, update is over because it is a timed event. Unfortunately, you can still get the weapons and armor later is what we were told. I just don't know how we were, how we're able to get or how people are going to be able to get it. Uh, unless it's just the same format. Me personally, I think they're just going to take Shaxx from the new area and then just put all of the stuff that he has in the Shaxx from Tower. I think that's what they're going to do or have a little like computer next to Shaxx where it'll be accommodating like that. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys think about the new format. I definitely really like it. You guys will see in a bit has a lot more space to basically give you more information and looks a little bit better in my opinion but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys remember hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it and if you guys want to see other content um just let me know i'm very open to any video ideas so other than that let's get into it so here is the new format i really really like it i love the fact that it's just the name, the description, the male and female, and then the colors of the background is really, really cool. I really want someone to do this a little bit better, make it a little bit more presentable. But for the time being, I really do like this. Let me know what you guys think. Hunters. So we're going to start with male first and then female. I think the male version looks a little bit better in my opinion. Um, the female version is just a little too thin for a lot of the pieces, which is why I like the males a lot more because it's a little bit more bigger, which it makes sense, I guess. But realistically, I just I would find a lot of issues with the arms for. Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't like the arms in general. Like, let's talk about the armor first. Helmet, I think, is amazing. I think the cloak is pretty cool. I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the boots, they've grown on me. I didn't like them before now i'm like they don't look as bad as i thought they did and i think the arms are truly the bad piece of this whole set um not even to mention that they they're asymmetrical because I, the boots are asymmetrical the chest piece is asymmetrical but i like those two pieces a lot the arms i just think like one side looks boring one side looks like a little too much that's like i think the main reason why i'm not a big fan of the armor specifically the arms um yeah and for the male i think a lot of the pieces look really really good for the females i think the honestly the main portion is just the arm i don't like at all i think it's a little too thin and it's gonna be problematic in the future but overall i really really do like this set as to how to get this armor like i said available during into the light update will update once into the light is done but again i think shax is going to be able to withhold a lot of his ways to get stuff or they just do something completely weird because i know the new area is not going to stay they i think they've told us that it's not going to stay which is a, a huge bummer because i think that's a really really cool area but yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor as for how it shaders i think it shaders really really well there are a few pieces where i'm like uh whatever honestly but for ancient wisdom um i really don't mind it honestly I'm just going to show you all the colors. I'm going to be talking about a specific color, specifically Cryptic Insignia. I think that's a really, really good shader to talk about. But the other good shader would be Abyssinian Gold because Abyssinian Gold would show you 
a lot of the pieces as well a lot of the armor pieces because if you guys remember armor pieces for Abyssinian gold comes out brown and for the hunters the only armor pieces that i really really see is going to be the thigh armor on the left side there is not gauntlets but like a metal plate on the top of your hands the helmet and then the blade on the chest piece i think those are the only pieces that i'm actually noticing that are actually armor other than that a lot of this is cloth which for some people they might not like that i personally really like it because the chest piece i've already done a cowboy set again i will most likely be doing the class individual sets not right after this video because i still have to make some because uh, i haven't made it for the warlocks but the hunters and titans i think they're already done so i'm gonna probably gonna try to do those as fast as i can i'm probably gonna try to put these videos as fast as i can just because i want to post these right now because i have a lot of armor videos to make considering we're getting new eververse sets being sold in, or not new but they're reselling old eververse armor sets i'm gonna make one for the armor set they sold previous weeks and then the new one they're selling this week so yeah overall i really do like this armor set i just think the biggest problem for me is just the arms the arms are again i'm not the biggest fan of those other than that uh i like how it shaders i think re like realistically i can see myself having a lot of fun with these just because again when it comes to shadering that's when i i can, like for me that's when uh, armor is like make it or break it because well i shouldn't say that because i'll still use it but if a if an armor set shaders well it's a it's like another problem that i don't have to have which is really really nice as for the titans i am gonna be honest with you guys i've so let me let me be real right now i when i first made my war my when i first made my titan i made her a female and i still stand by that choice after all the years that i played with my female titan i think i made the best choice because as much as i really do like the male titans sometimes bro their fashion looks pretty terrible females I would say like 90% of the time their fashion looks amazing. There's that 10% where it's like, I wish this was different. And that 10% is when the males look really good. So I still think the females look way better in this certain point. Titans males, I think look amazing. I think they look way better. They look way bulkier. They look like a Titan and female Titans. Just there's, there's like a emptiness to it. I don't know what it is, but they don't feel as big as as titans i think should look so like for me i think the males look amazing that being said i think the helmet is the only piece i'm not a fan of like it just looks weird it looks like it's grinning almost and i'm honestly not it's not that it creeps me out or anything it looks pretty cool it's just boring compared to everything else like the arms look so cool it's symmetrical as well i might add chest piece is amazing boots are super dope i think the mark is the only thing where i'm like uh, like it's not as bad as the helmet but it's definitely not great so the other thing that i really don't like is the fact and we'll, you'll look at shadering when i talk about this but uh the like metals on the chest piece do not change color which is very unfortunate because the hunter's metals did change color so i feel like that's not fair considering the warlocks also have that same problem but overall i think the big the best pieces here are gonna be the arms the chest piece the boots and i think that's it i mean the helmet i made a set with it already and i'm kind of like oh it's kind of it's kind of fire like kind of but yeah i i really like this set it looks so so cool as for shadering we're gonna stick with well i'm gonna talk about ancient wisdom but you guys will see all the other shaders i like how it shaders and i also don't like how it shaders because there's a lot of off colors here specifically for everything but the boots essentially uh and even then the boots do have some off colors there so for the helmet obviously it's going to be the the head up that's all off color for the chest piece and arms it's going to be like basically like the breast up that's i don't know how i feel about that i mean to be fair if you really wanted to just combine everything you can use a shader that like completes all the sh all the armor pieces in one color and that would be fine specifically like super black is a good example super black would just turn everything black uh dreaming spectrum is also another great example there's other colors as well but those two are the ones that really come into my mind and yeah if you really was like oh, i don't want to have off colors you can choose two of those colors or other ones that i haven't mentioned because there are other shaders but 
I would just say the off color is just my biggest problem. That being said, you could probably do some really, really cool things with the off color. Like specifically, if you're going for a set that's really using off colors, then this set's going to be amazing. That being said, I didn't find shadering that big of a problem because again, you could always work around it. And the sets that I made for the Titans, for the chest piece and the arms, I think were amazing. So Titans, let me know what you guys think about your set. And then last but not least, we have Warlocks, which I think you guys got the worst set personally. I am not a fan. Personally, I don't like the chess piece, even though I made a really cool set with it. I still don't like it. Um, the arms are pretty terrible. I think the helmet is a little too close to the actual armor set that it's inspired by. Uh, the metals on the like close to the neck area does not change color collar I guess that's what it is uh, does not change color uh, the boots are the only piece where I'm like it's kind of fire and the bond as well which I made a whole set for just the bond which I'm still surprised about and the like collar in the back just kind of looks goofy if, if you were to ask me which of the genders looks better I would probably say I'd probably say the males look pretty good. The, the females also look really good. I just don't know which one I would be like. I'd use this rather than them um, because the males, at least the chest piece looks like bulky enough for it doesn't look too small. Females, you guys have that problem. That being said, I've also seen how some armor looks on the male versions for the Warlocks. And I'm just like, oh, it looks gross. You almost look like a hunchback. So it's hard to really detail like which which one is better but let me know what you guys think is the best one me personally like i said the only good piece i see is the boots and the bond i think those two are cool the helmet's not bad i just think it's too similar to the one that it's uh like taking inspiration from and the chest piece honestly i would love to sit down and talk to whoever designed the arms and the not even the arms because the arms make sense if you see the armor that it's like dedicated to or whatever um, the chess piece is where I would be like, all right, like what, were, what, what, what was your mindset when you made this set? Because it looks fucking weird. Like it doesn't even look bad because I can see the, I can see the vision. I can see like, okay, like this kind of looked like it was about to cook and it just stopped. Um, it's, it's a lot of things. I don't like the dick towel thing or yeah, the dick cloth. I think <sighs> making it pointy was probably not the best choice uh either making it smaller would have been better or making it the same like a uh, shape as the like the cloak in the back not cloak but the dress at the back making it like almost the same shape as that would have been way better um or maybe not even having a, a dick cloth and then maybe maybe having the boots have something on the crotch to make it more visually um nice uh the the like weird plugs on the front and the back that's another thing i would want to talk about the the fucking hoodie thing in the back i also would want to talk about uh, overall like chess piece i'm just like what was your mindset when you made this set because it's just it's not bad i see the potential it's just you stopped that's what it feels like you stopped so definitely let me know what you guys think about this armor set as for how it shaders, I don't have a problem with the shadering at all. I think the shadering is actually pretty good aside from the chest piece because again, the metals don't change color on the collar, which is very unfortunate. But overall, I'm seeing a lot of colors where I'm like, yeah, this doesn't seem bad. Like there's no off colors. Uh, most of the is main colors, which is very much a dub. And surprisingly, I think the weakest armor has the best shadering because again, I don't see any piece where I'm like, ooh, that looks really bad. A lot of it looks really good. So shadering wise, it's amazing. So let me know what you guys think, which got, which of y'all got the best armor. Let me know in the comments below. I personally would think it's between the Titans and the Hunters. I would lean more Hunters just because a lot of those pieces for me is eat more easily like accessible to like other sets. Not, not that the Titans one is bad by any means. Uh, I just think like, Specifically, a lot of the pieces that the Hunters have, I like more than the Titans. Titans, I don't like two of the pieces. I shouldn't say the, the mark is bad, but I'm just not a fan of it. For the Hunters, I think the class item looks amazing. Like, oh my God, it looks super, super dope. And it, the arms are the only piece where I'm like, it looks pretty terrible. That's all I'm really saying. Like, it's not as good as everything else. So 
let me know what you guys think about the new format i really really like it if you guys don't like it man i will be happy to jump back to the old old format because this this took longer than i imagined uh basically doubling my, my process of doing this but i really like this format just because it lets the hunters just look at their set it lets the titans and warlocks just look at their set if you're interested so that's the reason why i like it because it just it brings everyone like male or female hunters like all right my my hunter looks like that okay it's she's gonna look like that or he's gonna look like that same like same thing for the other classes so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later